good morning everybody and uh, we shall start with the first oration and the first oration would be the professor dr p s ramani lifetime achievement award oration which would be 30 years along the lamba nerve roots and it would be delivered by dr jong kyun su from south korea who is the lifetime achievement award lead for this year so i now welcome and i tell you uh, can i request the organizers to play the video please It is great honor to make special lecture as Professor Lamani, Lifetime Achievement Awardee. I am grateful to Professor Lamani for his contribution to India Spine and WFNS Spine Committee Society. Today, my talk is 30 years along the uh, no, Lumba Nerve Roots. While reviewing for this lecture, I was struck by many patient and spinal surgeons I have known sincere and by how many memorable meetings I have attended so far. Two purpose of this lecture are to understand where we are going by remembering the great pioneers in the field of Asia spine surgery. History is very important. The next purpose will be sharing the international academic accomplishment and friendship. This is my educational background, as you can see in the program book. I began to work in Korean University Hospital since 1984, so exact it has been 30 years, 31 years. I should mention my teachers and the former chairman of our department. Professor Chu, Professor Li, and Professor Li are the former chairman before me. Thanks for them. I was able to focus on the spinal neurosurgery and contribution to the foundation of Korea Spinal Neurosurgery Society in 1987. This is front page and the program of the first annual meeting of Korea Spinal Neurosurgery Research Society. It was held in December 19, 1987. This picture was taken at the first annual meeting of Korean Spinal Neurosurgery Research Society in 1987. You can see the several pictures when the first meeting, as you seen. I stayed in the United States for two years as the visiting professor from 1988 to 1990. First, I was at the Pennsylvania Hospital, Philadelphia from 1988 to 1989. My director at the time was Dr. Frederick A. Simeon, the author of the textbook, The Spine. The next year, I moved to Medical College of Wisconsin, Milwaukee. My director at the time was Dr. Sanford Larson. This picture was taken in 1994 when I revisit the Medical College of Wisconsin. This picture taken with uh, Dr. Howard Ahn. He is a famous orthopedic spinal surgeon. He worked at uh, Chicago Rush Medical School University Hospital. 
On a fine day of February 20, 1992, during the 8th annual meeting of the ANS-CNS section of the disorder of the spine and the peripheral lobes in Tucson, Arizona, United States, Next, uh, regarding the quickened period, that is the before the beginning, the tennis is Tucson during the eighth joint section meeting in 1992 will taken apart. Four months later, I attended the seventh annual conference of the Japanese Society of the Spinal Surgery, Sapporo, Japan. This is the front page and the welcoming remark of the meeting by the President Professor Abe. This is another old picture in front of the convention hall at Hokkaido University, Sapporo. They are the Korean Spinal Neurosurgery Society members who attended the meeting. This picture shows the Dr. O oh and me long time ago with a much younger face. I'd like to mention the very historic meeting which was held in Cebu 1996 this is the front page and the content of the meeting. I and Professor Young Soo Kim attended the meeting. This picture shows my presentation during the symposium at the meeting. This is the old picture taken with all the participants of the meeting. You can clearly identify the Professor Nakagawa and the Dr. Charles Ray and Professor Young Soo Kim, and Dr. Hida, and Dr. Mizuno, and me. During the meeting, I played tennis with Professor Nakagawa. I am sure tennis was a bridge builder between Korean and Japanese spinal neurosurgeons. The other memorable tennis game is the one of the Cebu Island during the international meeting in 1996. I'm sorry I could not get the old tennis photo at the time. Then five months later, the same year, 1996, Professor Nakagawa invited Professor Young Soo Kim, Professor Che, and me to the 11th annual meeting of the Japanese Society of Spinal Surgery, Nagoya, Japan, June 6, 7, 1996. After having a historical discussion on the possible joint meeting on spinal surgery, the first beginning by biannual meeting of the Japan-Korea Conference on Spinal Surgery was decided to the, be held in Nagoya, Japan in 1997, the next year. This is the front page and the welcoming remark of the meeting made by Professor Nakagawa in 1996. And you can see the Professor Young Soo Ki and me from the invited speaker page. In returning of the meeting in September of the same year, we invited Professor Nakagawa and Professor Benjel to our 10th annual meeting of the Korean Spinal Neurosurgery Society which was held in our Korean University Hospital. These are the front page organizing committee and the content of the meeting in September 1996. These pictures are during the meeting at Korean University in 1996. You can see the Dr. Benjel and the President Nakagawa and me. Another picture taken up after welcoming dinner at the famous Korean restaurant, Samcheonggak. 
This is a map uh, depicting Korea and Japan. As I mentioned earlier, after having a historical discussion on the possible joint meeting on spinal surgery, the first biannual meeting of the Japan-Korea Conference on Spinal Surgery was decided to be held in Nagoya, Japan in 1997. Korean Spinal Neurosurgery Society was founded in 1987, one year later than Japanese society. Following the, by the first meeting of Nagoya, Japan, 1997, there were seven meetings up to 1909, every other year. This is uh, the front page of the each biennial meeting from the first meeting in the Nagoya, 1997, to the seventh meeting of the Nikko, 1909. Okay, in the first JKCSS meeting was held in Nagoya, Japan in 1997 with the hosting professor Nagoya, uh, Nakagawa. The picture was taken in the center court of the Olympic Stadium, September 1998. It was, uh, this was the Korean restaurant, Shilla Hotel, Seoul in 1998. The second uh, KJCSS meeting was held in Seoul, 1999, with the hosting president, Professor Young Soo Kim. This picture taken at the venue, Professor Nakagawa, Young Soo Kim, and uh, Young Mamoto, etc. One of the pictures with attendant. And as the president, I hosted the first KGCSS in Gyeongju in 2003. You can see the picture taken with the professor uh, Joe and uh, professor You can see the Professor Daniel Kim, Young Su Kim, Yamamoto, and the Dr. Noel Perrin with his wife, with Dr. Sri Hori Nakagawa Perrin Hida at the first KGCSS, Gyeongju, September 1820, three. In 2006, I was invited as a guest speaker at the second annual spine symposium, Temple University Hospital, Philadelphia, by Dr. Robtis. You can see the Dr. Robtis and the Dr. Simeon. Now let's move to the Asia Spine. The first Asia Spine was held in Incheon, 2010, followed, uh, followed by annual meet, meetings in Fukuoka, Kaohsiung, Gyeongju, Tokyo last year. Second annual Asia Spine Meeting, jointly with the 9th JKCSS, was held in Fukuoka, Japan, 2011, with the hosting President Professor Mizuno. Banquet pictures. 
This picture shows the headquarter building of Korean University in spring season. Next, I'd like to introduce lumbar spinal stenosis related with me. This all six domestic symposium on lumbar spinal stenosis, book publication for lumbar spinal stenosis, annual neurospinal forum, research and clinical application. I founded the private meeting for lumbar spinal stenosis in 2004, March. I hosted for six domestic local symposia. Finally, I published the book named uh, Diagnosis and Treatment of Lumbar Spinal Stenosis in 2006. In 2011, December, the first ANS was held in Jeju with uh, foreign invited speakers, Dr. Hida and Dr. Mizuno. This picture shows the second ANS we held in 2012. At the meeting, we invited Dr. Lamani and Dr. Shoda and Dr. Young Su Kim. This uh, third annual Neurospinal Forum invited the speaker, Dr. Junichi Mizuno and Dr. Tateru Shirabayashi. This fourth annual Neurospinal Forum invited speakers, William Sears, Dr. Masaki Mizuno and Dr. Taku Sugawara. This, this is the picture of the, our hospital, Korean University Hospital. Now let's see anatomical consideration of spinal stenosis, especially extraforaminal stenosis. You can see the uh, cadaveric, uh, cadaver, work, uh, cadaver sample. You can see the nerve root and pedicle and nerve plexus. Extra foraminal space is surrounded by vertebral disc anteriorly, edge of the superior facet medially, and facet joint itself posteriorly. The causes of extra foraminal stenosis are the far lateral disc herniation and nerve root entrapment. And superior facet hypertrophy second ligament problem, intertransverse ligament or hypertrophied scar tissue can cause nerve root entrapment. This is the photography of the spinal surgery in operation room. This is the surgical management according to the extent of lumbar spinal stenosis. In severe stenosis, we can perform the total laminectomy, facetectomy, and with instrumentation. And I'd like to mention about SOS triangle. We also reported clinical pathological considerations in patients with sacral extraforaminal stenosis Lumbar sacral extraforaminal stenosis should be included in differential diagnosis of the lumbar spinal reticular pain. Complete decompression with an understanding of the extraforaminal anatomy is required. We approached on midline, pedicle screw was performed first, firstly, and then removed the spinous process total lamina, ligamentum frabum, 
after that removal, removed inferior facet of the upper vertebra, pars superior facet of the lower vertebra, in the transverse ligament and the transverse foraminal ligament. We performed that such triangle is clearly established. I will explain about such triangle in the detail on the next pages. After this and the superior and inferior fast joint are completely removed, a triangular area that contact connected superior pedicle, inferior pedicle, and upper root distal portion will appear in the surgical field. This triangular area can be newly named as the triangle. Apex is consists of superior lateral portion of the superior articular processes, capsular portion, ligament flabum, and the medial portion of the intertransverse ligament. This is a representative case. Female, 59 patient, admitted to the hospital, complaining of the right anterior leg pain. She also had claudication. On the MRI, lesion was spondylostasis L3 on L4 and spondylostenosis L4-5. We, we did two level PLIF operation with posterior screw fixation. This table shows the outcome of the first triangle after surgery. Symptoms and had improved in the majority of the patients. This picture was taken during WFNS interim meeting, Brazil, Hespel, 2011. Regarding spinal committee of the WFNS, I became the member of the spine committees, WFNS, in 2011 by the help and effort with Dr. Ramani, who was the president. Spine committee meeting was WFNS during the WFNS interim meeting. Gerias, Brazil. This photos taken during the meeting. This picture shows during the WFNS meetings, Seoul, September 2013. You can see the Professor Ramani and Professor Sehun Kim. This uh, uh, last uh, I and Dr. Seun Kim were invited to the third biannual conference of WFNS Spine Committee in Cartagena, Colombia, South America. You can see the Professor Ramani. I'd, uh, lastly, I'd like to introduce my Spine Fellows gathering. It consists of my clinical fellows and senior residents. This picture shows uh, this, this disciple gathering. Also with the dinner, with the disciple gathering in the uh, tour in 15. This is my conclusions. To understand where we are going, we must evaluate where we started. History is very important. Remembering the great pioneers, such as Professor Nakagawa, Professor Yongsu Kim, and invaluable and extremely important with the Professor uh, remembering the great pioneers, Professor Ramani, and sharing 
of the international academic accomplishment and friendship is very important. There have been many changes in the field of spinal surgery, globalization through the internet, MISS, etc. However, I am afraid there are too many spinal meetings and the financial burden as well, each domestic and spinal meetings. APCSS, as Spine Europe, NASS, and so on. Burdening of the participant nations, including India, China, Indonesia, Philippines, Turkey, Middle East con countries in essential. Finally, tennis is a great contributor between Korea and the Japanese spinal neurosurgeons. In conclusion, pre uh, precise diagnosis by image study especially MRI image and clinical correlation is important to make proper treatment plan. Complete decompression of the affected neural structures is key point of the lumbar spinal stenosis surgery. So triangle and apex could be a good landmark for the complete decompression of the extraframinal stenosis. Before finishing the surgery, surgeons should confirm whether apex of the triangle is completely relieved or not. Boys be ambitious. Be ambitious not for money or for selfish arrangements, nor for the adolescent thing which men call f fame. Be ambitious for knowledge or righteousness and for the uplift of your patient. Be ambitious for contribution to not only domestic but also international spine societies. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Jung, for that wonderful and enlightening oration. I think Professor Jung is not with us, so I would request Professor Amani to say a few words about Professor Jung. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Arnan. Uh, thank you for asking me to say a few words. Uh, Dr. Jenkins, who is not here, but Dr. Jenkins Su is a very dedicated and most unassuming person. He's very friendly. And as he showed his slides, he also he feels that playing tennis has helped him a lot to be friends with Japan. We could not give him as much uh, tennis as the Japanese people had given him. He's very, very dedicated. He's now retired from the Korean University. He works in a, another private hospital, but more than that, he do more social work to the church where he belongs. And in most of them, very, very busy doing the work of the church. I think his last slide, which shows that how spinal surgeons and surgeons should behave, that is apt befitting to him and I'm very grateful that today he has given the oration in this virtual conference. Thank you. <laughs>